Well, Fancy, the big day has arrived. How's the feeling here in the Imperial Bar? Full of excitement, waiting for the game to kick off, and hopefully the lads will do the business. Crew Parker 7 to 4, St Michael's 11 to 10, and the draw is 12 to 5. Ah, sure, be a good one. Yeah. We'll win 3 0. Janine, on behalf of the club, we'd like to present you with two VIP tickets for today. 3 0. 3 0. I reckon. I reckon. Good information from St Michael's. 3 2. Cool. I help out now and again, and do what I can. That's it. Free sweets like her. Oh, Jesus, not free in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Alan Coley's our match pundit for this afternoon. You backed last year's beaten semi-finalists, which are the home team today, Carew Park. Are they your favourites for this year's competition? Yeah, I, I've kind of, I, I don't know, it's more my heart ruling my head as well a little bit because obviously we covered the semi-finals last year and I felt they were really unlucky in the semi-final, in particular against Sheriff. They played really well on the day. So I'd like to see them go one better because I felt they were hard, hard done by. In saying that, they have a very difficult tie against St Michael's today, obviously. Uh, a very, very tough team. They're unbeaten this year, in fact, in their domestic competitions and in, in all the cup competitions. So they're having a really good season, so they are. So Carew, although they're the home team, they're up against it today, but who knows, home advantage, it might play a big part. As everyone knows, the incentive to play in the Viva Stadium, it's, it's huge for the junior players. And we've been around the ground all morning and the buzz here, the anticipation, everyone's really looking forward to it. So bring it on. Plenty of experience in this Carew Park starting 11. The big shout in goal were Gordon Stewart, the club's longest serving player. He's over 30 years at Carew Park. He gets the nod in goal. The player he's getting the nod ahead of in goal is actually his son, goalkeeper Jamie Stewart, who starts on the bench today. Look out for the main man up front, Jonathan Grant. He'll wear number 10. He is Carew Park's top scorer this season and he scored 50 goals last season as well. As for St. Michael's, where they come here with so much experience, in particular in their back four, Higgins, Breen, Walsh and Buckley, plenty of experience in there. Indeed, Walsh is the most capped player at junior football level. Referee for today's game, Stuart Templeton, experienced referee taking charge of this one. Pleasantries out of the way and we're all set for action. A place in the semi-finals of the FAI Junior Cup up for grabs and underway as ever, Carew Park in their yellow jerseys and green and white for St. Michael's who will try to launch an attack and try to get it behind and it's early save for the goalkeeper and how about that for a start? Goal inside a couple of seconds, St. Michael's hit the front, the home fans absolutely stunned and the finish is by Jimmy Carr, straight from the kickoff and what a start by the visitors from Tipperary. Absolutely shell-shocked home fans. What a goal inside seconds. Well, Jimmy Carr, a winger who likes to get forward. Evidence there of just how he likes to do that. Super finish by him. And already beaten Gordon Stewart in the goal. And already 1-0 up St. Michael's from Tipperary. Well, he was capped at junior level very quick and carries a real goal threat was what we're told before kickoff and he's done that Jimmy Carr he's got booked for a celebration as we hear as well a yellow card for him but a goal and 1-0 St Michael's inside a minute and listen what will the response be from Crew Park let's not forget they were beaten semi-finals last year looking to go one better St Michael's past winners of this competition and they've made the ideal start here Experienced player in midfield, good delivery of the ball in by him and there was some purchase on the head of the attack still alive. The falls free to the edge of the area. Once again a man goes down, it's a penalty and a great chance for Carew Park. Jonathan Grant, the man upended, he gets pats on the back. And more drama early on in the FAI Junior Cup quarter final. And a super chance to make it 1-1. I think the man who's actually going to take this penalty is Gary Griffin. Right full back, Gary Griffin with a chance to make it 1-1, high drama. Concession of a goal inside a minute, but this a chance to get back level. Griffin steps forward and tucks it away. It's 1-1 in the cup. Gary Griffin puts it away from 12 yards. And the home fans finally have something to shout about, having been silenced a minute in. Another free launch long by Summers, testing ones, fallen free inside the D and the effort! As close as you can come without scoring, perhaps the goalkeeper got a touch, but it was a fine effort in a really good position. 
and almost a really good chance and almost the lead goal from John Connery. Well, you get the feeling it's going to take something special. Carr with a quick throw. The attack is broken down and Dylan will look to clear his lines for Crew Park. He does better and finds a nice little ball to Pat Quinn. Still going as Quinn, he's done well. Look at all those yellow jerseys forward as well. Grant just tries to play Quinn back in, but the pass wasn't good. It was well read by Walsh for St. Michael's. Under real pressure there, the centre half did well to keep his footing though and get back on the deck. Mark Slattery under pressure. Referee says that's going to be a free uh, coming together between John Connery for Carew Park and also Paul Breen. Walsh says that wasn't a free. Well, both managers eager to get their sides in and have a chat at half time. They'll get that opportunity now. And what a start we had to this half of football. At half time, we're no closer to knowing who's going to advance to the semi finals of the FAI Junior Cup. Half time in Limerick, Carew Park 1, St. Michael's 1. Knocked away by Walsh, first time clearance by him. Head tennis goes on and it's knocked back in. And the St. Michael's defence haven't dealt with that too well at all. As it trickles in, a shot in! And it stung the hands of the goalkeeper, attack still alive and it's blazed over at the second attempt. But really good play. As we said, it was a good bit of play in that first half from Carew Park. And once again, Anthony Wall coming to the rescue of St. Michael's with a superb save. It's a free in a good area now for St. Michael's. Big men up from the back. As it's swung in right on top of the goalkeeper and he hasn't dealt with it at all. And somehow, St. Michael's are denied. Well, the goalkeeper didn't cover himself in glory there, but he got away with it. As that one was sent in, a real, real let off for Gordon Stewart. And the man involved, Michael Walsh, how he would love to score what could be a winner. The veteran defender, as close as you can come from a St. Michael's point of view. Free kick in a good area from the away side. Whips in and the header comes in! Once again, as close as you can get. Well, they're knocking on the door. And the header on this occasion was by Pat Quinn. It's all St. Michael's. Really, really good ball whipped in by Russell Quirk. A little bit like the other fullback, Jimmy Carr, coming more and more into this game. Well, St. Michael's winners of this competition back in 1974, Carew Park, yet to win this competition despite being there or thereabouts over the past couple of years. Knocked up along the line, one to chase. O'Leary playing that one over the top. Nicely done. Can't get the shot away. Chance down the substitute. O'Sullivan! And he drags it wide. What a chance from the man brought on to make a difference in this game. Well, the left winger cutting inside. Carr as a winger cut inside in the first half and scored for St. Michael's. But Jamie O'Sullivan good in the second half. Walsh has gone close to scoring. May just get a chance from this corner kick. Out swinger away from the goalkeeper who can do no better than punch. Player goes down inside the penalty area. Referee says no, but the attack is still alive. Fahey out to Quirk. Goalkeeper is down. The Carew Park goalkeeper is still down, but Michaels are going to play on here. He's back on his feet. Is the goalkeeper. And still going are St. Michaels, but Quirk can't get it in and it's cleared away. And the goalkeeper is okay and back on his feet. The decision goes against Jamie O'Sullivan, who has been involved. And some attention will have to come on for Gordon Stewart, injured. Griffin. Layoff is good towards Grant, who can score from here. Just couldn't get it far enough away from the goalkeeper. But evidence that Jonathan Grant is coming more and more into this game. Defending now for Carew Park to do. They haven't defended well, that's a goal! And yet again, it's Jimmy Carr. Two goals for him, two for St. Michael's. And you can't say that wasn't coming. Michael's in the ascendancy in this second half. And they've hit the front for the second time. Number 11, Jimmy Carr. Go on, Jim. Well, he broke free down that left-hand side.
held off his man and gave the goalkeeper no chance. An attack is still alive, sent in. Once again towards the big man up front, but it's booted away by the fullback Summers and one to chase here for Grant. We all know what a handful he is. And they've got him behind here to Connery. Buried down on goal. Goalkeeper did well yet again. Not for the first time. Really good goalkeeping by Aaron Wall. So he's have a go himself, Cork, and it wasn't too far away. Goalkeeper did well, scrambling across Gordon Stewart, using all his experience. Grant scored 50 goals last year. If he scores one here, he'll be an absolute hero. Pa Boyle's left boot standing over this. He can score from here, the free kick taker. He may just have a go from here. Boyle steps up, plenty of pace on it, but a smother by the goalkeeper. And surely now that is that. Full-time whistle goes, some St. Michael's players down on their hunkers. That man's two goals have made the difference. Jimmy Carr with a goal inside a couple of seconds, cancelled out by a penalty for Carew Park early on by Gary Griffin. But Carr scored in the second half, and St. Michael's, who have won this competition before in 74, will progress to the 2014 semi-finals, and they're within touching distance now of a place at the Aviva Stadium and a big, big day out in the final. Full-time score, Carew Park 1, St. Michael's of Tipperary 2. It's time to present the Man of the Match award for today and we have Declan Barraskill from Aviva to present the Man of the Match award to Jimmy Carr from St. Michael's. Thanks, Declan. Jimmy, congratulations. Thanks, very much. Two goals to your name today. You happy with that? Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, any day you score is good, so delighted with that and just happy to get the win, you know. Most important to get the win. Yeah. Um, it was a tough game. Yeah. I guess they could have got more goals, but you guys came out on top. What made the difference today? Yeah, um, I suppose just that bit of luck. First half now, in fairness, they were the better side, I thought. And Jason told us that at half time, we knew ourselves that we hadn't performed. And uh, come out in the second half, we knew we, we owed ourselves a problem. So Jason performance and Stewie, and just delighted to get the win in the end, you know. So it finished 2 1 here. Alan, your final thoughts? Yeah, you would have to say the best team on the day probably won. Crew Park were very good in the first half, but there was definitely a sea change in the second half. Aiden, St Michael's were the much better team and a lot of chances. And the goal was kind of on the cards, and of course it did arrive, and they ran out worthy winners in the end.